Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Jim Shipstead. I'd like to welcome you to Encouragement for Today. And uh, last week I preached about these different questions that we have in the Bible that can change our lives. And if you ask the right question, sometimes it causes us to think and reflect on our own lives and can cause changes in our lifestyle. Last week we looked at the idea when Jesus asked the man who was a paralytic who was uh, laying there by the uh, porticos. It was a, it was like a kind of, it's about the size of a sw small swimming pool type of thing. And it would bubble up and people supposedly got healed. The first one in type of thing. And unfortunately this guy wasn't able to do that. For 38 years he laid by the side of this of this pool. It's in Bethesda in, uh, in Jerusalem. I know Penny and I have been there. It's, it's not a very big place, but think about all the people that used to gather there hoping to be to be healed and to be made whole. And as Jesus was walking there one day, he said, do you want to be healed or do you want to be made whole? As some translators translate it that way. And I've been reflecting a lot about that question because sometimes I wonder if we really do want to be healed. Uh, do we want to be healed emotionally? Do we want to be healed in different ways? Do we want to be made whole and have a balanced lifestyle? Or do we do things that we kind of jeopardize our own faith? And uh, so anyway, I was just thinking, as you think about your own life, are there things that you are doing that you need to be healed from? Maybe it's not getting enough sleep or not getting enough exercise or not eating correctly, or, or maybe you need to be healed in some areas about having relationships with people and having, trying to make those relationships right again by asking forgiveness or just having a, an honest conversation. But I'm just so thankful that the Lord can help us as we face different challenges in life and can, uh, can make us more whole as we seek Him and, and His righteousness. So I hope and pray you have a wonderful day today. It's a beautiful day here in Southern California. We had much needed rain about two this morning and, and uh, the, the skies are pretty clear and, uh, and it's just nice to, just to be alive and be able to just in, enjoy God's creation. So I hope and pray you have just a wonderful day today. God bless you.